Hi, and welcome back to the Snapshot channel. I'm Sonia Brisking. Today, I will be giving you a snapshot of what is happening in China right now in what some news outlets have called the real life Squid Games. <laughs> Recently, the Korean Netflix horror series Squid Game, where masked men carve out the organs of dead contestants, has topped the streaming chart. However, unfortunately for many in China, this is not just a horror flick, but a reality that is happening right now. Human rights groups and investigators have claimed for many years that organs such as hearts, kidneys, corneas or livers are harvested forcefully from dissidents and prisoners of conscience and up to a hundred thousand are killed each year for their organs. Meanwhile, the international community remains powerless to stop the slaughter. Just last month, nine UN special rapporteurs from the UN Human Rights Council released a report on this very subject. They spent over a year looking at witness testimonies of the China's highly suspicious organ donation rates to shed some light on this terrifying kill-to-order market. The UN statement said they have received credible information that detainees may be forcefully subjected to blood tests and organ examinations such as ultrasound and x-rays without their informed consent, while other prisoners are not required such examinations. The results of these examinations are reportedly registered in a database of living organ donors that facilitates organ allocation. According to the allegations, the most common organs removed are hearts, kidneys, livers, corneas, and less commonly, parts of livers. During the investigation, some of the red flags raised include, number one, recipients can book surgeries at specific dates and locations. This is usually impossible in most countries because surgeons cannot predict on what day and where an organ donor is going to die. Number two, in numerous undercover phone calls into China's hospitals, doctors actually confirmed that organs will be available on very short waiting times. This is absolutely unthinkable in other countries where most recipients have to wait for years for the correct organ and of the right blood type to be available. Number three, Testimonials from the Uyghur and Falun Gong prisoners or survivors reveal that their organs were x-rayed and examined during their imprisonment and blood tests were taken. World-renowned Brisbane organ transplant doctor Professor Russell Strong has called for hospitals and universities to ban Chinese surgeons amid claims that many may be returning to China to take part in its real-life squid game organ harvesting market. He told the Daily Mail that many Chinese medical trainees take what they've learnt in the West to use it to harvest organs back in China. Professor Strong first became aware of Beijing's terrifying human rights abuses back in the late 1980s after setting up a pioneering transplant program at Brisbane's Princess Alexandra Hospital. He successfully performed Australia's first ever liver transplant in 1985 and was inundated with requests from the mainland Chinese trainees. Even back then, he was aware of China's thriving black market of organs and knew that in many instances it was a state-sponsored crime, meaning that the Chinese government itself was involved and supported these crimes. Back then, they were predominantly using death row inmates as the organ bank. Professor Strong refused to train any doctors unless they obtained a document from them signing that confirming that they would not use their skills back in China to harvest organs, as he believed that this was immoral. China was first reported to slaughter its death row prisoners for organs as early as 1970s. The issue gained further traction in the early 90s after Human Rights Watch released further reporting on these crimes. According to the United Nations, China's Communist Party primarily targets repressed dissident groups and prisoners of conscience, such as Falun Gong practitioners, Uyghur Muslims, Tibetans and House Christians. The absolutely terrifying organ harvesting industry is worth $1 billion every year and human rights groups and investigators estimate that between 60,000 to 100,000 people are slaughtered every year. 
And despite being presented with a large amount of evidence, Beijing continues to deny the existence of the forced organ harvesting system and trafficking. Instead, they have called it defamatory and fabricated. China has claimed that since 2015, the prisoners no longer use as organ sources, and statistics performed in China indicate that only 10,000 to 20,000 transplant surgeries are taken each year. However, other experts disagree. Susie Hughes, the executive director of the International Coalition to End Transplant Abuse in China, says that claims just do not stack up. She says that after examining hospital revenues, bed utilization rates, and the number of surgeries performed in individual hospitals across China, the figures are more likely in that 60,000 to 100,000 annual transplants a year. The world has so far failed to stop China from engaging in illegal organ harvesting practices because being a member state with great influence over the World Health Organization, China is able to underreport its organ transplant data without being questioned. Meanwhile, in China, many, of course, know what is happening but are simply too scared to speak out. That's all for today. Thank you for watching the Snapshot channel. We hope you found this segment interesting. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and receive further notifications on more news to come. Take care.